Case closed. Ah, oh, I was right the whole time. That's another W for the detectives out there. It was 2v2 RTA the whole time. Welcome to the Fuse News episode 140. I said that as if there was gonna be more to that sentence, but that's actually the end. <laughs>We're gonna need 44 cc's of HP lead in here, stat. Oh, uh, hello, rune surgeon in training. The MDs, that's Master of Dungeons, have just saved another summoner from repeat battle failed due to lost battle. If you wanna keep your repeat battle team steady, I highly recommend you scope out this video. I'm gonna have Evan link that at the end. Come hang out with us on October 5th at the Hard Rock Cafe in New York for the next Summoner's War meetup. It's gonna be a fun night of tournaments, games, prizes, and more and hopefully you. Tickets are free, but they will be limited. We're gonna be giving away prizes like Giant Angel Mon, Occult Girl figures, Ragdoll figures, and a lot more stuff that I don't have time to talk about right now. There'll be free food and beverages, non-alcoholic of course, as a family friendly event. And we'll be showcasing the latest Summoner's War merch that's going to be available for purchase at New York City Comic Con. And I think there's literally a dozen content creators going, and you should go too. I hope I see you there. I'm gonna have the registration link down below if you wanna check it out. And now all the details of the latest co-op addition to Summoner's War 2v2 RTA are ready for your review. You and a friend or guild member are gonna queue up against two opponents. Then you'll enter into the pick band phase and draft four monsters each for a total of two bands per side, resulting in three monsters per deck or a total of 12 monsters in play. I know I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you. It's gonna make more sense when you play it. You get to bring two leader skills as well. And it should be noted that AOE skills don't affect every enemy monster you get to choose one team of three to affect and thank god i'm so glad that's the way it is it would be so ridiculous if it affected the entire enemy team for more details check out the dev note that's available in game or i'm pretty sure i put it in the description but i'm putting a lot of things down there so let's hope i don't forget it come by our stream on friday to get excited and ready for swc because we've got stoic and once in love the commentators for swc america's cup and we're gonna make them fight because they're the only ones who haven't had to fight yet. And I think that there should be a little bit of bloodshed. You, of course, know when and where to be, but I'm gonna put it right there anyway. Speaking of SWC, the America's Cup is this weekend, Sunday the 12th, and you can get ready for it by doing the prediction event inside the game. Cast your vote for who you think is going to win in each regional cup, and the further you get into the bracket, the more rewards you stand to gain, like mystical scrolls, energy, etc. And good luck to you, because my bracket always gets messed up, so. And of course, in the online support event that's ongoing, you can submit your fan art, digital banner, anything you want, supportive message for the person you think is going to win in each regional cup for a chance to win in a cold girl figure. 14 people are going to be chosen to win for each cup for a total of 42 potential chances. Here's that video that the doctor recommended earlier in the episode. Make sure to get your five-star rainbow mon and devil mon, and while you're doing stuff, watch SWC this Sunday. Keep on farming, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.